What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are finally back on the build guide world and we are going to be expanding our current starter home, getting some of these hallways and rooms opened up into some other areas. We're going to work on getting to the nether, getting all enchanted and getting our farms and everything set up. So we've got a lot to do today. So let's go ahead and kick things off. So we just branched off of the hallway and what I'm working on now is going to be the storage room. Now we're working against kind of the side of the hill right here. We're building in this hobbit hole so we've got to work a lot with the hill and we are very close to the surface. I didn't dig down at all. So we're going to kind of make a rounded half semicircle room and we're going to we're going to use that as our storage room. It's going to be a bit weird to set up the chests and everything, but I think we can definitely make this work. Okay, so I finished off this room. I've gone with the same patterns for the floor and walls that we've used, but what I'm gonna do for this room, for this storage room, is I'm gonna use barrels. And we're just gonna kind of put barrels wherever we want, really. We're gonna line them up against the wall, make them look like big piles of barrels, and we're gonna use that as our storage room. So I think I'm actually just gonna have one kind of sloppy side like this where we just kind of have a pile of barrels and then the rest is gonna be kind of organized and stacked up just so it looks like I've organized part of the room but haven't got a way around to organizing the rest of the room. All right, so this is what we've got going now. These are the last two barrels we're gonna put down here. This side we've got kind of stacked up. We're gonna use that for a lot of our food and then over there is gonna be a lot of our mining stuff. Obviously we're going to have to expand once we start getting our farms going and everything, but this is definitely going to be enough just to start us off and should definitely be enough for any starter base that you decide to make. This is definitely could be considered a larger room uh, for a starter storage base, but I like getting all my storage set up pretty quick so that I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put any items. Also, if you're working with a farm like this, definitely just put top slabs over the water. It's not going to change the water at all, so that source block will still be there and it'll still be able to uh, hydrate all the farmland around it, but you'll be able to walk over it nice and easy. Definitely a great tip if you didn't know it already. So since we've got the new storage room, gonna go ahead and get a lot of mining done. I wanna get that storage room filled up with all the iron diamonds and everything so that I can just start building and not have to worry about resources for at least a little bit. Also, I love these giant caves that are full of mobs. It definitely makes mining a little more fun just having these kind of huge arenas where you can battle it out with a horde of zombies. That had to have been one of my most unfortunate deaths ever. I literally was not expecting that at all. I literally logged out for a little bit after that because it was just, I got shot out of the water stream by a skeleton and landed next to two creepers. That is the worst situation I could have been in. So I've assembled some watermelon and some golden tools. I'm running back down into these mines. Hopefully I'm able to find my stuff uh, I really, I was pretty deep in here though, so I really don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, mining is officially the worst, but it's been a little bit now since those incidents. We're working just on a small pen right here, just right next to our hobbit hole. We're going to get some cows and start farming some leather because we want, we need to get enchanted before we can do any real mining. I seem to be just absolutely prone to death. So I set up this pen, we're going to go get some cows and then hopefully not long after we can start enchanting. Something about luring cows in Minecraft is just so aggravating to me because I know I'm gonna have to cross this giant river here in a second and it's gonna take me far too long because one of them's gonna get lost. I'm gonna go back and get that one. 
And then another one's gonna get lost. And it's just gonna be a whole, whole ordeal. It's raining. We've somehow gained a sheep. I think I've still got all my cows here. And we've made it all the way back to the pen. So we can get all these guys in now. And this is gonna be the perfect start to start getting some leather here. I've got four cows now. And the sheep is gonna be useful later on. I'm not gonna start off with a wool farm at all. But it'll definitely be a build that we'll do probably in a few episodes. Well, I've got some sugarcane planted. The cows are growing. We've got a ton of cows already, and it's time for us to finally venture into the nether. Now, we don't actually need a whole lot in the nether. I don't need to go find a fortress or anything quite yet, but we are gonna go ahead, build up this portal, and go take a look at where our base is about in the nether. And wow, what a spawn. Definitely in a basalt delta, clearly from the basalt right here, but we are way above the lava and it didn't give us really any platform right here. Probably the worst, probably the worst spawn I've had in the nether. That's definitely got to be up there. Well, managed to parkour our way out of the basalt delta. Really just need to grab some quartz here and then we're probably going to head back, grab some soul sand, things like that we see on the way but we will save the rest of our nether adventuring for later on when we actually want to go find a fortress and everything. All right, so the mission now, this right here is the bedroom. It comes off from that hallway right over there, but we need to build some sort of window for this bedroom. I really want to add just kind of a small little hole in the dirt, just like you would see in the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit, uh, where you have the ability to see out, but it also looks still like a hobbit hole. So far, the construction of this is going terribly. I cannot get the shape right for the life of me. I'm trying to excavate just the outside of this so I can get it right here. But I cannot for the life of me figure out how I want to design just the small little window that I want here. Decided to try constructing a large window for the bedroom. So far, absolutely hate the design. It's looking terrible right now. I'm gonna try a few things out, add some more details, change things around but right now I'm really hating the way that this looks. I think this is a great lesson for building in Minecraft. Most of the things I come up with and try to design look terrible. It's really just about noticing when something looks terrible, absolutely destroying it and starting over because whatever this little thing that I've come up with here is just not looking good at all. Well, I've tried adding in marble for this. I've tried a lot of different things to make this look good and this is about where we're at right now we've completely just decimated this entire hillside and our wall and it's just looking terrible so I think we're gonna we're gonna try something else I've got a different idea I'm thinking possibly adding in a chimney to this section something that's emerging from the hill have a little smoke coming out of it with the fireplace so I'm gonna go ahead and get all these materials here and then we're gonna try to build that up all right, I've been building for a little bit and I'm really starting to like where this is looking uh, like right now. We're gonna go ahead and add more onto the hill, kind of shape that up a bit better, hopefully not get killed by these skeletons. But I do like where we're going with this chimney right now. It definitely looks way better than that window. And I do wanna fix up this front window as well, but I really can't figure out how to design that one either yet. Decided to take a bit of a break from working on the windows, went down into the mines, and it looks like I've found some slimes. These are going to be super useful for starting off our farms, we'll get that gunpowder as well, but slimes are so difficult to find at the beginning of Minecraft sometimes, especially if you're not using a chunk finder, but fortunately I've stumbled upon some, so these will be pretty useful. And it looks like we've stumbled upon a deep dark biome as well. This is right next to where I found the slimes. I don't know how much adventuring I want to do in here. We've really only got iron armor. and I definitely cannot take on a warden right now. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try to maybe sneak through here and see if there's an ancient city down here as well. Well, definitely no ancient city down here. I explored most of what I could of this biome. Didn't find any evidence of an ancient city at all. Definitely do want to find one of those at some point though. Haven't really explored one that much in survival yet, so definitely excited to find one of those. Currently working on the house. We've got some of the interior rooms laid out. I'm not really too happy with the look of this window uh, from the inside or outside, but I really don't want to work on that window because it's just given me a lot of pain so far. 
But so far we've got the bedroom, nice little fireplace in there, storage room. I've got kind of a chaotic layout in here, which I don't particularly like. I like having this, I, I like the way this looks, but I don't like how it's organized because as soon as I take a week off from this world, I can't remember where anything is. So I'm really glad this is a starter base. We're gonna stick with it. We're not gonna change it up. I'll get used to it. And you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. This and this are gonna be hallways to other portions of the base once we wanna add those on. Right now though, the most important thing we're working on is an enchantment room. Of course, you need an enchantment room in Minecraft. You, of course, have to be able to enchant and your place has to look, you know, decent while you do it. This is the, the hobbit hole that we've got so far. Really need to hide that portal. And I really can't wait to get rid of these cows once I'm done with the, uh, the bookshelves here. Only need two more. I stole some books from that village over there and also managed to get uh, a mending library villager. That was just what the library villager had and I made a trade with them so it stayed permanent. But we've got this little room. I will change that eventually. Not a big fan of it for right now, but it's gonna stay that way. We'll get rid of that portal and we're making this min or this enchantment room right here because this hill does not extend until you go further back. So that's why we've got that back hallway, but I figured we could still use that space up front here to make an enchantment room. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish tearing all this down uh, hopefully get those two more bookshelves and then we'll go ahead and put it all together. Ooh, and that is the first enchantment of the game. Full level 30. Uh, and we got efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, fortune 3. That is exactly what we needed. Go ahead and throw the lapis back in here. And here's a little enchantment room. This is all the space we've got in the side of the mountain, so I couldn't dig it any deeper. So I figured I'd just put it right in the front. There's a little area to go back around here. I put a chest back here. Uh, maybe we'll use it for some enchantment books later on. Although when the 1.20 update comes out, I think I'm putting all my enchantment books inside those new bookshelves, because those things are so dope. Uh, but we've got lapis chest here, and I've kind of changed up the lighting in the entire base now with just lanterns kind of placed randomly about. I wanted it, ignore that torch. I wanted it to feel more like homely, like uh, somebody just tried to set out some lanterns to make everything lit. Got a log here as a bedside table uh, and then just kind of randomly placed lanterns throughout the entire base now. And then this will get obviously excavated later on. Uh, and fortunately, now that the light levels are uh, zero before any mobs spawn, we can do little lights like this where it's kind of dim in here, but it's still light enough that we're not going to get any mob spawns in this entire room. And just to verify that, in this corner here, which is probably the darkest corner, we got a light level of seven. Yep, and that's the darkest corner is seven. And before, mobs would have spawned right there. But fortunately now, we should be all good to go. So this is kind of what our starter base is looking at at this point. Just kind of small add-ons as we need more room. This is basically going to be our base of operations for the entire season. Although we're going to be building starter bases in other biomes, we are going to stick with this being our main base just so we're not having our items spread out across the entire world that we build. But now we've kind of upgraded our armor a little bit. I'm going to get the rest of this enchanted up. And now hopefully we don't die when we go mining again. I'm just down the road from my house and I'm working on a little project to move this nether portal. Uh, you can see it's already gone and that's because I've already built a floating island over here. Still want to do some decorating on it, probably shape it a bit better so it's not so symmetrical. But what we're going to work on right now is the pathway to actually get up to it. And what I've got in mind is kind of a fallen apart, floating, magical kind of stair step to it. So what we're gonna, I've gotten already a bunch of slabs and we're just gonna kind of slab our way up there and uh, see what it turns out looking like. I'll, I'll be back in just a minute here. All right, so this is what we've got. I'm taking a little look from the side here. I've shaped up the island a bit better up top. Uh, I might wanna do some work on the bottom still, but we'll see. And I've got a pathway now that's all kind of floating 
in the air. Uh, I definitely, when I get some vines and some other things, I want to, you know, make this look like it's a bit more natural and everything. Uh, but I do need some materials before I'm able to do that. I'm not too sure where a jungle is. So let me give you guys... Alright, we'll ignore that. Let me give you guys a little tour here. So you basically just head up this little pathway. It's a little dangerous. Potential fall. Uh, so probably not the most convenient thing in the world. But it looks... I like the look of it. I like that it's not straight. I kind of made it a little, little curve there. Uh, just to give it a little character. But... Here it is. It leads up to this island. Uh, that's kind of, you know, the portal spreading out of it. And it's got a couple... This is just because I didn't have enough obsidian. But uh, yeah, there we go. New portals all up. It's not directly next to my place now. You see, I can actually go down that without even looking and not fall. So it's not that bad as far as holes and everything. It's still manageable. Uh, but definitely want to get some mossy cobblestone, vines, things like that, uh, some moss, everything, and we'll, we'll spruce that up, make it a little bit natural, and that should be good to go. Uh, my farm is cooking up some stuff, but I think that's about going to wrap up what we're doing today. So we've read, we've worked on the interior of this place a little bit, uh, got an enchantment room going, and full enchant now. Uh, I've got an axe here, efficiency 4 and breaking 3, efficiency 4 and breaking 3, silk touch shovel, fortune 3 pick, and then full enchant armor. Definitely want some better stuff later on, but we're not too worried about that yet. Uh, but we should be all good to go now for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and start working on our starter houses in every biome. So we'll go ahead, uh, find a surrounding biome from here, and we'll build a new little base comment down below what starter house you'd like me to do first what what biome you'd like to see and we'll go ahead and build that up in the next episode and i promise this next episode will come out much sooner than this one did but anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video as always be sure to drop a like and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button we cover all things minecraft and we're of course going to be doing this series here where we're going to be building starter homes this was my first little one a little hobbit hole uh nice little little cozy interior that i definitely want to add some details and stuff in uh but this is our to-do list so we've got a starter base in every biome that's our first thing we're going to do uh then we're going to transform every structure in minecraft so we'll do ocean monument transformation we'll probably do a stronghold transformation just depending on what we can find uh, i've definitely got some ideas that i've seen from uh, other creators in the past so we've got some good ideas there and then we're going to end off the series with a mega build now that's of course far down the line not too sure what i'm going to be doing for that yet i've got some ideas of course but we'll see what we actually want to get to but here we go this is our little little hobbit hole little storage room uh, we're gonna have a path that way back into the mountain a bit more this way and then we're actually gonna go I'd say this way is probably going to be where our mine is. This is just going to turn into a shaft that's straight down. Uh, and then we'll have little stops at all the convenient levels. And then over here I have just a little, little bedroom. Uh, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.